Continue. We're now looking back at how unprecedented these storms were. We saw multiple tornado warnings with four confirmed tornadoes so far. So we're going to send it back to Storm Team 2's meteorologist Dan Russell and Jennifer Sinonis in the Weather Center with a closer look at just how historic yesterday was. And mm -hmm. is this something that has really been unheard of around here? Ooh, I mean, it's been a long time yeah, <laughs> thinking I mean, in our 20 years of our career here. Yeah, we've been talking, you know, in, in our time, we've never really had an event like that where there were so many tornado warnings at once. I mean, that was that was remarkable at times. One or two other times, but the yep. fact that we had the remnants of a hurricane too, yes. just bringing that soupy air mass and allowing for those favorable conditions for these spin-ups, that was something that was very unique to our, our local area. Yep, and it wasn't just here in Western mm -hmm. New York, as you can see. So yeah. every single one of these icons here these are storm reports, whether it's a, a wind damage report, mm -hmm. a lot of flooding. Boy, in the Adirondacks, areas of northern New York, uh, we have funnel cloud reports, and of course, we also have the confirmed several tornado reports across yes. our state. Yes. So this was an outbreak. We had yep. a severe weather outbreak across our state, and it started several days ago, even yes. as we saw uh, the remnants continue yep. to push across our nation. And it really it started, mm -hmm. as you said, when Barrel made landfall in Texas. Mm -hmm. Louisiana was the, the part of the, the I think, the, the storm that really saw the tornadic portion of that right. event. And then it shifted made more it into way. the Ohio Valley on Tuesday. And then, Over of course, us. It was over New York yesterday, right. and even when you just look at the amount of tornado warnings, I mentioned just at once we had so mm -hmm. many. Uh, again, there was we had more tornado warnings across the state yesterday than ever before, going back records the almost 19, 40 years. Yeah, to the 80s, 1980s, so. and even just us covering for several hours um, yesterday. I mean, even the fact that we were tracking that supercell thunderstorm that dropped there it was. four tornadoes across our area in just a matter of an hour and a half, and we were covering it for several hours, and there were, I mean, more than a dozen tornado warnings for our area yeah. in just a few hours yesterday. It, it was definitely unprecedented. The way that storm was able to hold its structure, yes. too, during that, that whole event and, and ultimately kind of skipping right. there and that's because that. we had those favorable conditions with that yep. wind shear and that instability in place basically just south of buffalo and out toward batavia south and that's where we got that activity impressive it was certainly a day yeah. that i know i'll remember for a long yes, time and, and thankfully lauren we don't anticipate anything even close to what we saw right. yesterday anytime soon well if we do have another day like that we know that we have the right people here to, to walk us through it we will be here <laughs> both of you did such a great job uh when it was all unfolding and it just kept the the warnings just kept popping up and kept going for longer so thank you again for your coverage yesterday and thanks for that recap still to come